All right, so welcome back to Trash Home Video. Um, today I'm just gonna jump right into a review. Um, I did a very lackluster unboxing. Didn't even see the unboxing. Um, again, the way I used to do this is way different than the way I'm doing this now, so this is trial and error, so just bear with me. Anyway, so what we're going to be talking about today is, yes, I realize it's an old release, but, yeah, you don't have to watch if you don't want to. We're going to be talking about Vinegar Syndrome's uh, release of Witch Trap. Now, this is going to be something that they've released previously, but this is going to be their catalog slip. So, um, and I think they did this, maybe it was Black Friday? I don't remember. Um, but the, that is the slip. This is going to be embossed. Uh, and then this is the back here. And then this is the cover, alternate cover. Um, we also get a even different, uh, cover on the inside, which I think is neat. Usually you get this exact cover and then an alternate cover, but even this one is actually different from the slipcase. So, Witch Trap, 1989, directed by Kevin Tenney. Uh, we all know Kevin Tenney from Witchboard, um, Night of the Demons. Um, Starring, um, well, not starring, but we've got Linnea Quigley in here. We've got Hal Havens, who played uh, Stooge in Night of the Demons. Um, so we've got some regulars, some horror regulars, some Kevin Tenney regulars. Um, first thing I want to say is, and uh, this has been said before, but this movie is completely ADR'd. Um, from what Kevin Tenney says in the special features, which is different from what uh, his brother, um, what is this, Devin, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Michael Tenney, uh, which is different than what his, his brother says. But what Kevin says is that the audio was recorded too low and that when they went to do the final mix, they turned it up and... Um, there was an audible hiss. So they had to go in and ADR literally everything. Um, everything from footsteps to screams to literally everything. So it kind of has this like, this Kung Fu badly dubbed, it's not badly dubbed, but obviously dubbed movie from the get go, which adds an interesting little bit of charm. Some people might find that grating or annoying. I didn't bother me at all. Um, Basically, a group of investigators go out to a house that a man recently inherited. Um, and he doesn't really know what to do with the place. He doesn't want to live there. He was thinking of, like, selling the land and tearing it down. But he needs to get this group in here and figure out what's going on because there's a lot of strange happenings. Um, and the interesting thing about the film is that it... Um, You've got a group, like half paranormal investigators, half um, private investigators. So you've got one half that believes in ghosts and believes in supernatural happenings, and you've got the other half that does not at all. Um, particularly um, Vicente, uh, Tony Vicente, who's actually, I think, the, my favorite character in the entire movie. Um, he does not believe in any of this at all. He's very vocal about the fact that he doesn't believe any of this, and he kind of comes off as kind of a um, almost know-it-all kind of douchey kind of character. But he delivers one of the best lines in the movie, and this is actually when the movie for me started to kind of pick up. Um, he says something to the effect of, because uh, there's a medium that is very religious, um, and... He's obviously does not believe in anything like that. Um, and he says something to the effect of, uh, I've seen 12 year old hookers uh, that have a $200, $200 a day drug habit 
there is evil in the world it just doesn't have horns or a tail and great line um, James Quinn plays Tony Vicente and I think he he's really probably the best actor in the bunch um, we've got like the medium who is very religious and then we've got like she's not a medium she's definitely believes in ghosts but I think she's like a she's like trying to trap them she actually gets on my my nerves throughout this entire film I don't know what it is and it's like her deliver the way she delivers lines is very like monotone and dry and she just gets on my nerves like I said before we've got um, Hal Havens who plays Elwin who is like the groundskeeper the creepy groundskeeper um, the movie uh, is a bit slow um, in the beginning but for me picks up really well uh, about halfway through you find out that the owner of the house used to be you know practice witchcraft and he was a uh, psychic and magician and I don't know um, but yeah it really picks up during kind of the second half of the movie is when everything sort of starts really to get going um, really great effects um, if anything else this movie is you know pick it up just to see some cool effects I mean we've got death by shower head uh, death by floating bullet exploding heads all kinds of great stuff um, really good effects I, I highly enjoyed the effects there was something else eh, never mind I don't know um, let's see what else um, let's just talk about the vinegar syndrome uh, transfer obviously it's vinegar syndrome so they did an amazing job um, let's see what was this it was scanned in 2k from the 35 millimeter negative nine times out of ten it's going to be from the 35 millimeter negative if it's vinegar syndrome um, we've got a commentary track with Kevin Tenney producer Dan Duncan uh, cinematographer Tom Ju Jewett and Hal Havens I did not actually listen to this um, typically I a lot of times unless like the movie blows me away I will typically put the movie away wait for a while and then go back and watch um, the commentary unless I really like the movie then I'll jump right into the commentary um, I have heard that it's a pretty decent commentary and that um, No, never mind. That's in the interview. Scratch that. Uh, we also have video interviews with Kevin Tenney, uh, which is a pretty, pretty decent um, little interview. Uh, interesting tidbit about the movie is that this is the very first time that this movie has ever been seen uncut the way that he actually intended it. It was never released that way, and he says that no one before now has seen this uncut print besides the cast and crew uh, this was from his personal this was his personal 35 millimeter print they gave vinegar syndrome he was even very kind of like tentative as to whether or not he wanted to uh, even have it out there um, but he, there's apparently a pretty big following of witch trap and he wanted to give the fans uh, a chance to see the uncut print so that is very cool. And he seems like a very down-to-earth, very nice guy. Um, I don't know if he does conventions, but he seems like somebody that would, be, that would just, like, thrive at conventions. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> uh, we have an interview with Linnea Quigley, cinematographer Tom Jewett, which is also very interesting. And special effects supervisor Tassio... Bauer? My eyes are bad and I don't have glasses, which I have to get. And then we have some audio interviews with um, Judy Yanamoto and um, composer Michael Tinney. Original trailer, Book of Joe short film, which was directed by Kevin Tinney, and also an alternate ending for that short film. Um, still Gallery. And yeah, that's about it. So it's pretty packed, 
pretty pretty packed with special features. Um, the limited slip cover is, I believe, sold out. Um, obviously, if you're a collector of the slip covers, you will probably have to go to eBay at this point. Um, but I don't know if you just want to see the movie, don't pay sixty some dollars for just a slip cover. Um, I'm sure you can find this streaming at some point somewhere. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but if not, just get the regular, get the regular release of this. It, it's it's a fun movie. I would definitely recommend it to people uh, that are fans of '80s horror, that are fans of Kevin Tinney. Um, it's a it's quite enjoyable. Like I said, it's a little bit slow to begin with, but certainly picks up. And we got a lot of good, interesting uh, effects in the movie. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, I'm gonna I've got some other reviews planned. Um, gonna be doing a lot of Vinegar Syndrome. Um, I've got an Agful one coming up. Um, what else? Let's see. Probably not gonna be doing Tremors just because. It's Tremors. By this point, if you haven't seen Tremors, and if you don't know about this release, then I don't know. Um, possibly Tower View. I don't know. We're just going to see how this goes. But um, if you're watching, thanks for watching. If you liked it, drop a like. Um, and I will see you next time, guys.